Saving money can be very tough, especially if you're a student or a single mom who isn't earning a lot. You may have been trying to save in previous years, but yet you can't seem to save up something very tangible. In today's video, you're going to learn 5 practical steps on how to save in 2022. Number 1. Avoid impulsive spending. Impulsive spending is one of the biggest obstacles to saving money. Man's need are insatiable, and trying to satisfy your wants will only drain your finances. Whenever you consider making a large purchase, you should take your time to think about it. Besides the immediate benefit of getting that product or services, will you need it in the long run? You may reconsider buying after you take your time to cool off. Number two, pay off outstanding debt. If you've been saving in the previous years, you discover that having debt reduces the percentage you can save monthly or yearly. To save money in 2022, you have to do two things. Discipline yourself and set a time, maybe one or three months to pay off that debt. Again, you have to look out for high interest debt that you are owing and do well to pay it before paying the low interest debt so that the high interest debt will not keep incurring more debt for you that you may not be able to pay in the long run. Number three, stick to a budget. If you haven't created your own budget for the year or the month, it's not too late to create a budget. Budgeting outlines your income and also categorizes your intended expenses for a set time frame, maybe for a month, a week, a quarter or for a year. To be able to save money, you have to discipline yourself to stick to the budget you created. Reject anything that is not part of your budget so that you know overspend. Number four, automate your savings. This is one step that have helped me since I became intentional about my financial journey. 2020 was the year I made my first one million naira, and after that, what did I do? I invested that money in businesses and also income generating assets. A few months later, these businesses began to generate profit and those income generating assets also began to give out dividends to me on a monthly basis. So when this profit started dropping into my normal bank account, what I did was I created an account with the Digital Piggy Bank and set an automatic savings amount that will go to my Digital Piggy Bank weekly or monthly. This action helped me save and also manage my money without even noticing it. Number 5. Get a side hustle. Your current income may not be able to cover for your weekly or monthly expenses. Talk more of saving. All you need to do is to search for ways and opportunities to increase your income. If you are skillful or you have any special expertise, you can create a side hustle from it. Your digital marketing skills, graphic design skills or translation knowledge can fetch you a large amount of money if you start exploring them. You can freelance in association with your job or you can make it a part-time job. Now any money you make from here can be sent to your savings account and this way you are able to increase both your savings and your income. So these are the practical steps on how you can save your money in 2022. You can drop me a comment below on which of these steps you enjoy the most. And if you haven't, do well to like this video and also subscribe to this channel to get more videos on personal finance. Also turn on notification bell to get notifications when I release another awesome video. See you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,